What inspires someone to spend $2,600 on a second-hand jacket? Why do people build supreme shrines in their bedrooms? And what does supreme have that other brands don't? To understand why young consumers are so crazy about supreme, let's dive into the social brain behind this obsession. Supreme was founded by an American-British businessman, James Jebbia, in 1994. He moved from UK to US and opened his own store called Union, which sold British goods and street fair on Spring Street in Manhattan. His most profitable line of clothing were the ones designed by the skateboarder and surfer Sean Stussy. After a brief partnership with Stussy, Jebbia opened his own skate shop and called it Supreme. The brand was positioned as a rebellious, youthful street brand and started by selling street fair t-shirts and other skating accessories. Flash forward to today, the logo has the power to sell almost anything, from clothes to branded fire extinguishers, calculators and even nunchucks. But the most bizarre item with the Supreme logo on it is a $30 brake which has fetched up to $1000 on eBay. The psychology behind this bizarre behavior is something that marketers employ on a regular basis. As human beings, we are hardwired to survive and establish a position in our communities, system, order, or hierarchies. This leads us to what psychologists call social signaling. We signal love through public display of affection. In the same manner, we signal status through public display of symbols. The purchases we make are means of how we rank ourselves in the social pyramid. But not every brand is capable of creating such symbolic influence and Supreme achieved that through a number of out-of-the-box strategies. The first one is their counterintuitive supply and demand business model. Ordinary businesses try to keep a healthy supply in stores for maximum turnover. Supreme has mastered what Rolex has been doing for decades. It is called the law of limited supply and high demand. It limits the supply or production of items to the quantity that they are confident they could sell within a certain period or run. It also sells these products at somewhat competitive prices. But this is where the secondary market comes in and plays its role in jacking up the prices of supreme items that are still in high demand but have no supply of stocks in supreme stores. It helps their brand become more sought after and consumers are always looking forward to future releases. While other fashion brands spend millions on conventional advertising, Supreme relies on their business model to create the hype. Another reason is the drop, or rather, the unusual drop strategy. Similar to most fashion companies, Supreme drops a new collection twice a year. But the similarity ends there. Before each season, Supreme puts out a lookbook that shows most of the upcoming products for the season. Then every Thursday, they drop items from its lookbook plus any additional random items or collaborations with high-end brands for that week. Each drop is an event, and customers form huge lines in front of Supreme stores. The queues are worse when Supreme drops a collaboration. In a 2017 collaboration between Supreme and Louis Vuitton, consumers across the world queued for about 72 hours in hopes of securing some collaborative products. About a thousand people waited in London and another 7500 queued in Tokyo. The final reason are the Supreme Hype Beasts. The term Hype Beasts is used to describe obsessive fans of hyped fashion, who usually follow street fair trends to make a social statement about themselves. Supreme enjoys an unusually loyal and enthusiastic army of Hype Beasts. This was accomplished by creating enough scarcity so people could make money selling its most hyped items. A $40 product bought from Supreme store could sell for as many as $200 to $800 in the second-hand market. Today, Supreme's bright red logo has become a status symbol in the street culture. Numerous celebrities have been spotted wearing clothing that sports the Supreme logo. With only 12 stores worldwide, Supreme enjoys a massive valuation of a billion dollars. That's all for today. If you liked this video, hit the like button and share it with your friends and loved ones. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications. We'll meet with a new video. Until then, stay healthy.